YouTube. This is your girl, Miss Sasha LaRue, coming to you live and direct from the East Coast. Now, that would be the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. Ting, 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 ting's here. And I am coming to you with a brief update. I'm going into my 25th month post-op VSG um, um, that I had on September 25th, 2025. I mean, 2012, sorry. Um, and I had it done here in Philadelphia. Um, I've lost about a, a total of about 130 pounds. Um, I'm kind of stead, steady maintaining that 170s, the 70s, the 70s in me are just lovers right now. <laughs> we just can't seem to get away from each other. <sighs> so, but um, I think I know what the culprit is. <laughs> um, and my choices on food, even though, let me just, you know, reiterate that I do eat clean. I eat very, 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 very little um, processed food, no packaged foods. Um, just the, the most processed things I think I consume recently now has been the whey powder that, you know, that come with the protein shakes because I tend to have one of them. Um, um, to hold me over between class because I have late classes. Um, so instead of having a meal, I have the shake um, and then I have a meal. I think I'm eating too much food. I, I don't think I am. I know I'm eating a little bit too much food. Um, even though it's clean and it's unprocessed, it's still, you know, it's, it's got to match the amount of calories that I'm able to burn in a day. Um, so. I'm gonna have to cut back on something and um, and just tweak it a little bit. But you know, I'm not bummed. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not bummed. I'm just you know trying to see what works, what doesn't work. Um, and that's the 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 advantage <clears throat> of af of learning and trying different things is that you can always you, you know you become more educated in your journey and what works and what doesn't, and you can identify. Um, uh, where, when you need to do something different instead of you know sitting on it forever and, and not knowing so I am um, I think it's I think what's really going on is that um, I think I'm, you know you're able to eat more and um, eat more of good food is good but then you know it can definitely turn around and be too much and still you know with the stomach size that we have now um, you know it's just not built for a even a 1500 calorie day unless you're you know working out in that intensity level consistently every single day and um, you know to lose I can't do that so everything's going good with that um, as far as where I want to be I think I mentioned it before I like to be a size 8 I'm at a size 10 now and to to really be in the 8 to have the 8 get down is to to um, continue to burn the fat the belly fat and that has always been my my most stubborn area um, ever has been my belly and um, I know some of the things that, um, that I'm doing that is probably um, hindering me there so I'm gonna tighten it up and get that to going um, so it's it's really just a few minor adjustments um, and by minor adjustments I mean habits bad habits forming so um change them up a little bit and you know go from there um change 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 food does anyone have any spare change <laughs> i've been saying that word so much lately that i don't know what to do uh, we change y'all everything changes everything must change stevie said it look up the song As a matter of fact i'm gonna find it today i'm gonna listen to it i'm gonna youtube it and because everything must change nothing stays the same you know ah <sighs> guess i'm gonna move for some stevie today i think it's gonna be a stevie wonder kind of day um yeah so be ready for the change to come and the change that comes is gonna come within you're gonna see it on the scale at first when you know you're you know if your first pre-op you know this is your new and you're fresh out the gate you're gonna see changes you're gonna be all geeked and boom 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 um, some of us and I'm not saying everybody I'm just saying a select a few this is me I was right um, 
and then you start to realize and you start to get down to the meat and potatoes and nitty gritty of you and what kept you where you were and got you to where you went to and now you know those layers are coming off and you're dealing with yourself you're changing and you know two years out you know I've I've changed you know um things that I would like 10 years ago I may not like today um, I'm a different woman regardless if I had lost a pound or not I've always you know what I, what I liked at 20 I don't like at 48 you know um, and that could be from the type of music I listen to the style of dress the people I choose to be around um, the way that I socialize um, all those things change all those things have changed and um, and actually for the better um, some of it, the changes have saved my life and I'm not even talking about this you know uh, weight loss surgery I'm talking about even before that when I had my son I believe that change right there that changed my life you know and that change was good because you know I was probably at that age on a destructive course so I welcomed that change I was scared of that change at first because I had taken care of myself for 30 years before, you know, and then my having your first child at 30, that's a, a older age for a woman, I think. For me, it was. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it is. Um, because I was an old mom. You know, if I was 21, 22, I would have been running around with them, and we you know. But anyway, that's a whole nother Oprah show. Um, so that change came about. Became a mother, became a wife, became a stepmother. Um, and those changes came about and um, and they were good you know the, the, they were good changes now we're steady changing so um, just know that you're not going to be that same person and then when weight loss comes off and you start feeling yourself sometimes you know it is what it is and you feel good about yourself and you got that extra confidence because working out will give you man it will boost your confidence out the roof so if you ever felt as though you lacked a little confidence get your ass in that gym and and make that heart rate go up you will become a beast even if it's just to yourself you know what I mean and that right there within itself is a lot of fun I totally freaking enjoy it because it just gives me superpowers you know and it makes me forget about some of the things that are changing so um, so not all change is bad not all change is uh, great either. You know, it, is, it can be very painful. Um, I was talking to a, a trusted friend last night, and, you know, it, it, it could just be that that's just who we really are. And when we're under a whole bunch of that fat suit, we, you know, settle for things. And that is a deep statement if we break it all the way down. Um, you could do that on your own time because I did on my time and it's the truth hard words sometimes and this sometimes it's something that you don't want to face but we all do change um, everything must change if not we wouldn't be here well that's all I really got you know just thinking about the changes that go on in life how we've changed um, emotionally physically we see that surface stuff is easy to see you can see something and say oh that looks pretty that looks nice oh she's gorgeous oh he looks good you're seeing that surface side I'm talking about the inside the inside change that goes on let's talk about that let's deal with that let's go there inside because we can see pretty things all day I can hear oh you're pretty all day if you don't know how ugly sometimes inside is or how beautiful the inside is matching the outside is you know cuz I'm not gonna be hard on myself I'm gonna I'm gonna feel good because I do feel good and I'm not gonna really make too much excuses for that or or forgiveness uh, TK uh, had a video I'm mean, not a video a post on Facebook that I think Kel big piggybacked off of too about downplaying your success or maybe slowing your weight loss down for other people um, if I could just add to that ladies hell no I will never do that now I will never make someone feel bad 
um, and try to outshine them when I know that they're struggling. You know, I, I, I'm not, um, uh, you know, too much of it in your face. I mean, I, I love attention, but I do it on my level and I do it where I do it at. <laughs> and, um, no, I wouldn't make the person feel bad or anything um, who is trying to get to where, even where I'm at. Um, so, um, I wouldn't make them feel bad. I would try to encourage them and help them if they wanted help in my suggestions. Um, I would do whatever, you know, it would take to uplift the person. Um, but I would never grandstand in front to make them feel bad. But then I wouldn't dim my light either, you know, because I know where, where I shine at and I know where to shine. <laughs> I know how to get mine. I want this damn traffic to move. All right, y'all. I'm rambling now. I just want to say, hey, have a great day. Love yourself. Don't let anyone steal your joy, even if it's you. You stop that shit. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.